Hey y'all, Kelsey with Kelsey Scruggs Boutique. Welcome back to my channel. This week our tutorial is on the Stay Wild Child Tumblr. This thing came out absolutely beautiful and dimensional and I am so obsessed with this. Um, also, I have created the KSB Community Over Competition Group where you guys can post your photos, of your beautiful tumblers along with bouncing ideas off of one another or just asking for help in general. Um, of course, everything used in this tutorial along with the new Facebook group will be listed in the description box below. Let's get started. All right, y'all, we are using alcohol ink for this tutorial today. I have sanded my cup and washed it with Dawn dish soap and spray painted it white. We are using the 32 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia today. And I am just taking my alcohol ink dabbler and I am daubing and patting the alcohol ink where I would like it. Now I did start with my lightest color first and worked my way up from there. If you don't have an alcohol ink dauber, it's okay, no worries. The makeup sponges from Walmart work just fine for this project. Now, when you first put your alcohol ink on this, depending on what spray paint you have, like my alcohol ink looked a little flat. So I just figured out, okay, where do I want my alcohol ink? Let's just put it there. Then I can go back over it. So that's what I did. I placed my alcohol ink and then I went back over the same spots and I barely pat it to create those cells. So we're not really blending here. We are letting the alcohol do the work for us. And don't be afraid to layer your colors, you guys. You literally cannot go wrong with alcohol ink. Let it blend by itself, let it do its thing, and it will come out absolutely amazing. Now, all four colors that I used in this tutorial will be listed in the description box below, along with where I purchased my alcohol ink daubers. Now I did go over a few spots that I was not completely in love with and kind of um, blended some more to get some more cells. And then we went into our leopard spots. I purchased my leopard spots from Bear Trends Digi Designs on Etsy. These are my absolute favorite fuzzy leopard spots. And I did not do anything to the tumbler at this point. I went straight from alcohol ink straight into decals. I did not seal this tumbler and there is no epoxy on it. And I literally got to skip a bunch of steps because you guys know I like to think outside of the box and I like to work smarter and not harder. So if I can save some epoxy and some uh, spray paints, I am all for it. Also, keep in mind that my I did not know what I wanted to put on this tumbler until later um, before my first coat of epoxy. So just make sure if you're putting a name or something on this that you know exactly where you're wanting to put that name so that you have better placement of your leopard spots and there is no confusion when you do place your final decal. Once you have your decals placed where you would like them, we're gonna move into our acrylic paint. Now I started off with the Deco Art Metallic Gold and I was not impressed with the coverage that I was receiving from this acrylic paint. 
So what I eventually ended up doing was finding a different gold paint for this tumbler because I wanted bright, vibrant colors. And so the deco art was just not working for me. So I did find this other one in my closet. I will list it in the description box down below. I did purchase it over at Michael's. Um, so I usually try to get all of my acrylic paint when it's on sale because I really love the more expensive ones. They tend to be a little more pigmented in my opinion. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Now on the full sheets of vinyl, I kind of went outside of the lines on the one on the bottom there and you'll totally see what I'm talking about later on because I have to fix it. But I got my acrylic paint outside and then you could totally tell that I had placed like the sheet of vinyl on there. So I had to go back and fix it. So just be super, super careful of the sheets that you place on here that you're not getting outside of those lines so that you don't have the headache of having to go back and fix it later. Once I was done with the acrylic paint, I did go in straight away and remove my vinyl. I didn't wait for it to dry, but just be super, super careful when you're removing it because you can scratch the alcohol ink. And at this point, it's going to be very, very hard for you to fix it. Now I'm going through with the alcohol ink and fixing those harsh lines that I got around the vinyl because I was not paying attention. And look at how beautiful this gold is. I love it. So now we're gonna take some Mod Podge. I know, Mod Podge. Nobody really likes Mod Podge. So if you have a glue stick laying around, you're more than welcome to use a glue stick. Um, I think it works better, but I didn't have one on hand. So I'm just gonna place some Mod Podge with a brush just in little bitty spots on the tumbler, especially where I accidentally hit the gold acrylic paint and I could not fix it. I placed my gold flakes over those so that you can see it. But you can do as many as you want. And yeah, I kind of went a little overboard with the gold flakes, but I love them and I think it came out so, so perfect. I mean, look at this, you guys, the gold flakes with the gold leopard. I am completely obsessed. I love this. So now we're going to move into our very first coat of epoxy. Now, as you will notice, my Stay Wild Child decal is finally on there. I finally decided what I was going to put on it. Now, because I had gold flakes near where that decal was going, I did spray my tumbler with Rust-Oleum two times clear. Um, that way, when I did place that decal, my gold flakes would not move. So I added about, there's like 15 milliliters total on this tumbler. Um, and then I torched it. And then I went in with Assassin Crafts Golden Opal and kind of just spread it a little bit around the tumbler. Now, originally, I didn't plan on using the chunky golden opal, but I had a chunky piece in with my fine glitter and I could not get it out with my tweezers. So I just decided, hey, let's just trust the process. And I grabbed the chunky and went to town. And I am so, so glad that I did because it came out absolutely amazing. Here is the finished look. I did add one more coat of Fast Set and finished it off with a final layer of Artist Resin. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.